Hello students and welcome to your science class. Today we are going to start our journey to the outer space. That is the world of celestial bodies like sun, moon, stars and planets. So fasten your seat belts and let's start rocketing. You know, every day turns into night and every night is followed by daylight. Have you ever wondered why? And also, you must have seen brilliant display of stars in the night time and then wondered why some stars are bright and some are dim. Are the stars stationary or moving in the sky? Or are there other celestial bodies in the sky besides stars? Well, let's try to find out answers of these questions. But before that, let's know the learning outcome of this video lesson. So, you'll be able to list the things you can see in night sky or in the day sky. Explain the formation of day and night. And then identify morning and evening stars. Then list the features of a star. Draw the diagram of day and night formation. So let's get started. In the daytime, the sun is there and the light of the sun dominates the sky. It is very bright and in the daylight we may see things like sun itself and clouds, airplanes, insects, birds, rainbow, kite and sometimes even moon. Planets like Mars, Jupiter or eclipses in the sky can also be seen in the daytime. Well, there are stars and planets also in the sky and we are not able to see them because the light of the sun is very bright. And also during the day, the sun appears to move through the sky. It rises from one point and then sets in the other. Now that one point is east and it sets in the west. Then the question arises, how does the position of the sun change in the sky? See, when we observe sun from earth, it seems to be stationary. Seems, it is not but it just seems to be stationary. Actually, it is the planet earth which moves from west to east on its axis. See here, from west to east it is moving on its axis and hence there is an apparent change in the position of the sun. It just appears to us only that it is rising from the east or setting in the west but actually uh, only the earth is moving. It is only rotating. So when the earth rotates around the sun and on its own axis, then the formation of day and night happens. Now let's know more about this. See, this yellow colored body here is sun and this is earth. Earth is, given, is on its rotation. The light with, when it is falling on the earth, the side which is facing the sun has got day. And the side which is not facing the sun has got night. Okay. Now let's know more about this through a video. Motion and the rotation around the sun. All these planets, including the earth, also rotate on their own respective axis. This rotation results in day and night on the earth. Check this out. The world time zone map shows that it is daytime in some continents, while it is nighttime on the others. How does this happen? Now, let us look at the position of the Earth with reference to the Sun to understand this phenomenon. The Sun is in a fixed position in the solar system. The Earth, as we know, constantly rotates on its own axis, which is an imaginary line. It runs from the North Pole to the South Pole or the center of the Earth. This rotation is from west to east. and takes 24 hours to complete. Due to this rotation and positioning of the Earth and the Sun, so it happens that only one part of the Earth can face the Sun at any given time. Hence, the parts with 
face is the sun, has day, one it is night, on the other side of earth, that is facing away from the sun. Thus, the rotation of the earth changes day into night, and night into day again. However, that part of the earth which has night time is illuminated by the moon. But the moon does not make its own light, just as sunlight strikes the surface of the earth. It does that to the moon as well. The moon reflects this light onto the earth during night. This explains the day and night cycle. So, now you know that the side which is facing the sun has got day and the side which is not facing the sun has got night. And a second point that moon does not have light of its own. It just reflects the light it is getting from the sun. And then now coming to the night sky. In the night sky you must have seen a bright moon. Well, during the night time we can see shooting stars, moon, stars, planets, bats, fireflies or fireworks or an owl in the night sky. And then in the night, moon appears to be the brightest and the most recognizable object. And then Venus planet is the third brightest object in the sky after sun and moon. So first is sun, then it is moon and Venus is the third brightest object in the sky. And here is the picture of morning and evening stars. Now remember we are saying it stars but actually they are the planets which we see. You know sometimes planets like Mercury, Venus we can see them during early morning hours or in the evening. And because we can see them in morning or in evening, that is why they are called as morning star or evening star. But here we can see them very low near the horizon in the sky. This line here, just follow this arrow, this line here is called as the horizon. You can see a blinking arrow also. So this line is called as horizon. It is an imaginary line where we can just say that the sky and the earth seem to meet. You know, the sky and the earth, they cannot meet together, but they just seem to meet at a place. And then this is the line where we can see our morning and evening stars. When the conditions are good, then only we can see Saturn and Jupiter also in the sky. Now, Let's know what are the features of stars. Well, stars are huge spheres of very hot gases. They give out light of their own. Okay, it means they are luminous. Then stars are million times far from earth, farther than sun also. You know, we can say that uh, sun has got a spherical body, while as stars are twinkling in the sky because sun is near to earth that is why we it appears to us as if it is a sphere while as the stars are very far from us and that is why they just appear as dot or points now coming to this is sun a star because star is a body which gives out lights on its own so is sun a star well yes sun is a star too it has got a burning core and it gives out lights of its own. But remember, there are much more brighter stars than sun. Sun is just a star of medium brightness. There are many, many luminous stars in the space. And then, why can't we see stars in the daytime? Okay. Actually, the stars do not disappear from the sky in the daytime. They are always present in the sky. But you know, as the sun is closer to earth and its light is very bright, so we cannot see any other celestial body during the daytime. The light of the sun is such bright that uh, we are unable to see any other object. But in morning and evening, when the light of the sun is less, it is only at that time, 
we can see our morning and evening star and those were mercury venus mars or sometimes jupiter now if i want to observe the celestial bodies then what should i do okay then i have to find out the place where there are no bright lights right and then it can be on a rooftop or it can be on a mountain top or a hill top and the air should be clear there should be no cloud or any air should not be dusty right so then it is a right time you can observe the celestial bodies and if you have got a telescope then you will be able to see the stars much closer to you so with this we end the first part of our chapter observing the sky but now i'm going to tell you the word meanings of the words which i have used so one of the word which i used was celestial bodies celestial means heavenly bodies the bodies which are present in the space or in the sky and then stationary which means not moving axis axis means an imaginary line passing through the center of the earth that is from north pole to south then i used the word telescope it is a scientific instrument to see far off objects nearer and then i use the word luminous in case of a star so it is the body which gives out light of its own it shines very bright then there was one more word horizon horizon is an imaginary line where the sky and the earth seem to meet so let's revise before we end Point number one: The sun's brightness dominates the sky during daytime. Part of the earth that faces the sun has day, and the other part has night. Earth rotates on its axis from west to east, and axis is an imaginary line. Morning and evening stars are Mercury and Venus, and sometimes we can see. Uh, Saturn and Jupiter with unaided eye forms, and planet Venus is the brightest planet in the sky. Moon appears to be brightest in the night sky. Stars have light of their own, and stars are million times far from Earth, and that is why they appear as dots. Also, Sun is our nearest star, and it is of average bright. and this is the activity first which you have to do you have to draw this diagram you can take a screenshot right now and you have to draw this diagram in your notebooks on the plain side this is activity 2 and it is also in your book look here in the, you have to make a list of the things you can see in the daytime and in this circle you have to write down the things or the objects which you see in the night time sky only in the middle you have to write the things you can observe during day time and night time also okay so with this we end the first part of our chapter observing the sky and then watch out the next video on stars and constellations thank you so much